Okay, now that that's out the way, uh, I want to go ahead and find the, the, the girl's copstone because, you know, that's fucked up, and also I understand why. Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. My guy, she literally sprayed people with. I bet, I bet, basically shit. She literally sprayed them with shit. I understand why, but I don't. I just understand oh, that she's kind of an asshole am a little I bit. Missing? Hello, I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello, I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Really, you don't say? Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. It's easy. Do come and find me if you stumble on something illuminating that solves the mystery. So, Lumos. the Lumos? That it, spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. So, once you find the spot, like this spot, these Let's the little you your frame thing here. Moth. Yeah, exactly. The little moth here. You go here, and then you turn it off, I, and boom. I knew there was a connection. I should tell the Nora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. That is sweet! Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I follow the clues. I found the location depicted in the painting and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that too. So is Meat, although he does tend to overexplain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. Yes, you are. I should have seen that. Back to the mission I was doing before I got distracted. Distraction, I will be. Accio! Somewhere around these parts. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gold. Ha! Accio! one up here got it there's one that stumped me but I if I remember correctly that one I'm not gonna enjoy trying to find because I don't fucking remember where it was but it will be a interesting thing because well I like exploring the castle. The castle is big, giant, and freaking full of mystery. So that most likely Rebellion. I won't be a uh... Lumos. Okay, where's that at? Like green stuff everywhere. Here. And as if I, I explore more, uh, the more I'm going to find, the more cool stuff I will do. There we go. Mm -hmm. 
boom. Oh, it's got. Oh, they disappear? I didn't know that. Oh. This one. Okay. Okay, the first one is. Let's see, that's one, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight. That's nine. So I need a four. Zero, one, two, three, and. Wait, zero, one, two, three, and four. I need a. The hell is that? Is that an owl? Wherever the that is. That thing. Okay, that's 13, and then we have a symbol, so that's like a Hydra thing. Just there, there's 0, 1, 2, and 3, so that's 16. So I need a 5. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Like, little crap thing, whatever the hell that is. And open for me! Yeah! I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Accio! Levioso! Okay, so this is the one I had the trouble in. I don't remember where this one's at. Okay. Still up high. Revelio. Oh, look, look at this. Look at this right here. Okay, so that is 15 plus 0, 1, 2. That is 17. So I need a 6. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. A little thing there. What is it? That little salamander. I think it's a salamander. There it is. All right, next one. It is the this thing, which is it should be nine. So zero, one, two, three. This three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, okay, yeah, so that's nine. So three and is it zero, one, two, three? Yep. Well, that's nine and three. That's twelve. So I need a seven. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, the weird hair guy. There we are. Open the bloody door. Also, math is not my greatest subject, so you know. Here. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gold. Boom. Rebellion. <laughs> troll armor. This unusual suit of armor was crafted for a troll. That it has survived at all is astonishing, since trolls do not ordinarily wear armor and would understandably be prone to smashing it in confuse, confusion and or anger. Wonder if there's any more of those. Revelio. Ah. Centaur armor. This unique set of armor was created as a misguided peace offering to the centaur leader. The gift was spurned, and the messenger shot through the leg with an arrow. The armor itself, battered with hoof marks, was later recovered and refurbished. Ah, oh, I see. Rebellion. I see, I see, I see. Akio, <laughs> that's the last of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. Hogwarts Herbology Award. In recognition of exemplary exemplary skill in the field of herbology, Hogwarts bestowed this special award upon seventh year Hufflepuff 
Mirabelle Garlic. Huh? From Mandrax to Mistletoe and Bub Bubbo Tubbers to Bouncing Bulbs, her work with Flora has exceeded all expectation. Almost proficient garlic got an award. Revelio. That's pretty cool. Trophy room. This room contains the tr house cup, Quidditch trophies, dueling trophies, and other awards given to the school. Students who step out of line can be found polishing the silver silver here by hand as a reminder of the value of hard work. That is an unusual punishment that I'd rather not have. Okay. Rebellion. Oh, here's a chest. Okay, so now I gotta go back and see her, so I might as well uh, cut it here and then I'll meet her over there. You know, this is the first time I ever noticed it, but there's a fucking dragon right there. That is a dragon. That is a dragon. Revelio. And a fountain? Central Hall Fountain. This ornate fountain features in track in tresc in trackly track there carved statues of denizens of the magical world including a set of stone sirens encircling the fountain base sirens oh <laughs> excuse my ignorance but i don't know what the fuck that means so that's 11 zero, one, two. that's 13 so i need eight zero one two three four five six seven and eight that's a spider So these, that's a nine, zero, one, two, three, four, five, nine, that's 14, 23, zero, one, two, and three. Where's that part? Wait, wait. Revelio. Is it up there? Yep, it is up there. So I need the three, that's a, the Hydra. My aunt has some potions. There it is. And now that it is there, we click it. It opens for us. And we get what's inside. Easy peasy lemon cheesy. So now we have to go back to uh, whatever her name is. Had one victory over Sallow. He never backs down. I hope you've had more luck than I did tracking down my gobstones. I did. Hello, Zenobia. I found all your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However, did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? Yes, of course. Of course. They are yours, after all. Oh, how wonderful. I shall dedicate all my future victories to you. Speaking of which... Now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. Ah, uh, I think that's a terrible idea. That's a horrible idea. No one wants to get that awful stench all over them again. Why not? Gobstones are splendid fun, and now everyone knows the rules. Very well, off I go. Wish me luck. I try to warn her. I tried to warn her. She's gonna it's it's gonna be all over again. It's gonna be the same shit. And then she's gonna be like, no, they those bastards, they freaking took my gobstones again and then they freaking hit it somewhere. No shit, Sherlock. Cool if you have a friend that wants to play with you, but damn, nobody wants to get stunk by that shit. It's a relief to finally have an answer as to why that no oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, what is that up there? Oh dear. Is everything all right? Oh, hello. Thank you for asking. I'm Cressida, by the way, and I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You see, I'm fond of creating my own charms, 
thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation, because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. You look at that work, just carry books. No, that's amazing. That sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow I don't think the librarian will see it that way. I collect the books and remove the charm myself, except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around, so she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. Okay, sure. Why did Army tell Madame Scribner that they were your books? Oh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think he meant any harm. I think he was impressed, bragging on my behalf. Amit spends a lot of time gazing at the stars, but he knows a good charm when he sees one. I bet he does. I suppose I could help if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. Oh man, the a diary. No, I don't want to read it. It's personal. I'm going to have to use Akio to get those books. Got it. Only four more to go. That's one. Rebellion. This one I need the Glacius spell or something around those lines. You never know, there might be something here. Like uh anything. Oh I'm just, I'm just, I'm just. Akio! Akio! This must be Cressida's diary. I'd want this back too if I were her. Let's see. Today was a good <laughs> oh, I'm gonna read it. Today was a good day. That is, until Garrett splash whatever ridiculous concoction he was creating all over my perfectly stewed lace wig flies. Had to empty my entire cauldron and start all over again. He is such a menace. Think he knows everything there is to know about potion. Always disrupting Professor Sharp's class with his experiments. I'm utterly convic convinced that if he wasn't Professor Weasley's nephew, he would have been expelled by now. I brought Smokies again tonight for dinner. I'm becoming more partial to them now, although I still prefer meat pie. Rebellion. I feel like a terrible person. I am a terrible person. I read the diary. I'm a terrible person. I am awful. This is bullshit. Akio. Akio. That is not the one that I needed. But hey, I got 80 XP for that. I am a terrible person. I am terrible. Awful. Awful, awful human being. Rebellion. The old librarian. One of the first librarians of Hogwarts is depicted here. Rumor is that he had no tolerance whatsoever for noisy students and was known for his lib liberal use of the silencing charm at the, s the slightest sneeze. Oh. What is that noise? I hear like a buzzing noise. Like flapped wings or something around those lines. That's the last book. Now to take them back to Cressida. Look, I still hear it. What is that noise? Like a fly. Or something like that. It was up here, but I don't see it. What is that noise? It's getting it. What is that noise? Oh, maybe I'm going crazy. I'm going. I'm going insane. Rebellion. Oh, Professor Black. Might I suggest a ban on magic in the library? Someone has been sneaking into the restriction section. 
and Cressida Bloom seems to think of the library as her own personal arena in which to practice her latest incantations. It is most disruptive. One might consider Peeves tame by comparison to such antics. Whoa, hold on there, librarian lady. Or gentleman. Or whoever you are. Relax, calm down. Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief. Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Perhaps you're worse to keep... No. Here you are. Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Now, to work out where I went wrong. Perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Thank goodness some people are trustworthy. Certainly wouldn't want anyone but me reading my diary. No! <laughs> no! I'm sorry, I'm a terrible person. I'm a terrible person. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm a terrible person. Wow, that makes It was a Slytherin. I'm, a, I'm not even a Slytherin. All right. Anyways, uh, this is where I'm going to leave it off. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed. Ooh, man. I enjoyed. Uh, I, now I learned a new spell. I now collect shit with Levioso. Or me, Akio. And Levioso. Levioso. But, you know, it's, uh, it's a work in progress. We'll soon be able to... Uh, do more spells and yeah this is this has been great this has been great 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 fun anyways guys uh, that's where i'm gonna leave it off today thank you so much for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed the next one we're gonna be doing going to hogsmeade and you know doing all that stuff so yeah thank you so much for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed if you guys enjoyed make sure you give it a like make sure you comment make sure you're new guys talk chase in the next one goodbye and take care